माय डियर व्यूअर्स टुडे आई हैव ब्रॉट ए वीडियो इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू ऑन वेव ट्रैप और लाइन ट्रैप एंड कपलिंग कैपेसिटर एंड आल्सो द नीड इन ट्रांसमिशन ऑफ पावर प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल शेयर एंड लाइक द वीडियो नाउ प्लीज वॉच व्हाट इज वेव ट्रैप और लाइन ट्रैप why it is needed in transmission of power what is coupling capacitor why coupling capacitor is needed in transmission of power line trap or wave trap and coupling capacitor are related with power line carrier current plc used in protection of transmission line plc power line carrier system is generally used for protection of transmission line for communication purpose among sub stations The carrier signal is used for telecommunication among electrical substations, telemonitoring, and teleoperation. We know the power frequency is 50 Hz or 60 Hz, and the carrier signal frequency is in kilohertz, which ranges from 3 kilohertz to 500 kilohertz, depending upon the location. line trap and coupling capacitor line trap also known as wave trap a critical component of plcc which filters the high frequency signals from power frequency current sent on the same line from the remote substation and diverts them to the telecom and teleprotection panel in the substation control room through coupling capacitor and lmu line matching unit power transmission lines are used to transmit electrical power using the same transmission lines the carrier signal which is a high frequency signal is also transmitted for protection of transmission line and to provide communication system carrier current of high frequency is sent from both ends through the same conductors in which power frequency current is fed so it is needed to separate power frequency current from high frequency carrier current again it is also required to send two currents from different frequencies through same conductor therefore at each end of the transmission line arrangement is kept to separate the said two currents as well as to send and receive high frequency current signal by installing carrier current units coupling capacitor do not allow power frequency current to pass the line trap is connected in series with the transmission line the main coil is designed to carry the rated power frequency current as well as to withstand the fault level of the substation equipment line trap or wave trap allows the passage to power frequency current but blocks the high frequency currents with the help of tuning circuit the tuning circuit in conjunction with the inductance of the main forms a band stop filter it ensures that 
the line trap offers high impedance to carrier currents under all conditions including resonance. Inductive reactance XL is equal to 2 pi FL where F frequency and L inductance. So inductive reactance is directly proportional to the frequency F. Resistance due to inductive reactance increases as the frequency is increased. So inductive path offers high resistance to high frequency carrier current but allows path to low frequency current. On the other hand, the coupling capacitor connected in parallel with the circuit offers high reactance to low power frequency current 50 Hz as capacitive reactance Xc is equal to 1 by 2 pi Fc that is capacitive reactance is indirectly proportional to frequency. That means capacitive reactance increases with decrease in frequency and capacitive reactance of coupling capacitor do not allow low frequency current to pass but give passage to high frequency carrier current. So separation between currents is done through this process. Why these high frequency carrier signals and low frequency power signals are needed to separate? If high frequency carrier signals enter the power circuit of an electrical substation, it can damage electrical equipment and similarly the carrier signals panel cannot withstand the power frequency current. This situation can lead to complete destruction in electrical substation and subsequently in the power system. Why only one wave trap per feeder is hanging? The number of line trap or wave trap depend upon the number of communication channels required for protection and effective carrier signals communication. Power line carrier communication PLCC. So this was the simple overview on this subject. Thank you for watching this video.